I haven't done one of these in quite a while, so let's see if I can remember how to actually do a music review. <laughs> um, before I start, I should admit I did type up what I was going to say before uh, this video, so if my viewing, my eye view, whatever it is, what you're into, that's why. Okay, so today Alice Cooper released his digitally, digital copy of Paranormal. Yay! Alice Cooper fan! Yes! Um, so I was actually really excited and I couldn't wait, um, but unfortunately thanks to me working this morning I couldn't rush out and go buy a hard copy, so I don't have an album to show you unfortunately, so I'm sorry about that um, But I don't know if you can hear that some of his uh, songs from the new album are playing in the background I'm not sure if you can actually hear them <laughs> Okay, so um, Well, let me begin by saying paranormal sound really familiar like it has the touch of all of his previous albums in this one um we will of course uh, start the album off with the song paranormal which is the song which is the album's title track um it's alice cooper's sick twisted way of a sweet love song like it, it it's like as if steven died and well actually as if Stephen fell in love and he then he died and he's trying to tell his love you know I'm here but I'm dead so it's like the anti opposite that's what anti means dummy it's like the anti uh, called Ethel is that the way to explain it I don't know um, and then it goes into dead flies which reminds me of brutal planet slash dirty diamonds album um, but Possibly seems like a Halo of Flies sequel, but calmer. <laughs> Is that even possible for an Alice Cooper song? A calm song? Yes. Um, okay, he has another song called Fallen in Love. <sighs> well, let me start off by saying it seems like it's a What Baby Wants slash What Do You Want From Me type of song. That, that's what I get from it. Um, it does reference previous Alice Cooper songs from Billion Dollar Babies to Desperado to Poison and even the slightest nod to Steven. It, it, again, it's another sick twisted Alice Cooper way of saying I love you. Um, and then we've got Dynamite Road. Okay, listening to that one, when it, its intro sounds just like the saga of Jesse Jane, but then as you listen to it, it's like, okay, well, it's not Jesse Jane, but it feels like Jesse Jane. Yeah, um, it doesn't have the, you know, are you a butterfly sort of feel. It's like, okay, you know, what just happened sort of situation. Um, when, when you listen to it, if you're a Rob Zombie, let me slow down. If you're a Rob Zombie fan, you might get the slight nod of Rob Zombie with Dyn Dynamite Road. So it's Jesse Jane, but not Jesse Jane, mixed with Rob Zombie, which is Alice Cooper. I don't get how Rob Zombie goes from Alice Cooper, but they have worked together in the past, so maybe... Maybe it's Alice's way of saying, hey Rob, give you a nod. <laughs> uh, private public meltdowns. Oh, don't celebrities love those. <laughs> when I listened to it, it honestly sounded like a song that was rejected from the album of The Eyes of Alice Cooper. Now, The Eyes of Alice Cooper isn't exactly Alice Cooper's greatest album. I'm not exactly a fan of it. It's like, it feels like a teenager. Well, it feels like Alice is trying to be a teenager, but it just doesn't work. So that's what Private Public Meltdown feels like. It came from that album. So when you listen to it, it's like, yes, that's what it seems like. But then it's on the wrong album. So it's not exactly The Eyes of Alice Cooper, but it's Private Public Meltdown. <laughs> oh, this song. Okay. Holy Water. Now, when you listen to it, you... Well, actually, before you listen to it, Looking at the title called Holy Water, you would expect something along the lines of the devil's been cleansed or, you know, maybe a, a dragon town type of feel to it. No, it's a love song. I don't get how, but it is. It goes from like, um, I'm in love, so drown me in holy water. So I'm guessing it's the devil's way of turning into an angel and falling in love. Okay, well technically Lucifer is an angel. But let's not get biblical there because I didn't read, uh, I've never paid attention to the Bible. So, hmm. Okay. There is a song called Rats. Who loves those little critters? I don't. 
Um, okay, well, listening to Rats, it reminded me of Road Rats. Yes, uh, he has a song called Road Rats um, on one of his previous albums. I can't remember which one, because it's really sad. <laughs> um, it, so, Rats seems like a Road Rats sequel, but tamer. Like, essentially, in this song, he's saying, let's let those rats out of the cage. So, maybe it was a prequel to Road Rats. Who knows? <laughs> the next best song. I, I kind of, when I listened to Genuine American Girl, it's told from a female point of view perspective. Is that even the right thing to say? Point of view. Um, but Alice Cooper is singing it. So when you listen to American, a uh, Genuine American Girl, it sounds like King of the Silver Screen, but it's as if the king has finally become the queen and is like, hello boys. So you probably have to link us into King of Silver Screen, then Genuine American Girl, and then go, yes, those two are related in some way. Um, I'm not 100% sure if Alice Cooper has confirmed if those two songs are related, but personally, I think those two songs are. Uh, there also is two other songs on there that I can't quite put my finger on, which is Fireball and You and All Your Friends. Both of those are, of course, Alice Cooper songs. And they do feel like something from his earlier days. But I, I just can't put my finger on and figure out what exactly they sound like. Um, when you listen to it, obviously if you've been following Alice Cooper's career for as long as... Well, he's been musically alive. Um, you will kind of go, okay, well this sounds familiar, but you just can't figure out which song. Um, he... There's another song which does have um, another vibe to it. Um, it's called "The Sound of A." Now, when you listen, when you look at the title, you would assume that it's just going to be an instrumental song. Uh, sort of. Um, it sounds like it's a modern, possibly updated version of a song that was rejected from "Pretty as a View" album or the Billion Dollar Babies album. You know where. He, those two albums, possibly other albums, where it was just long instrumental sounds, you know, long instrumental tracks, and then like a snippet of Alice singing here and there. So that's what the sound of A sounds like. Maybe, maybe sweet unfinished, possibly, but um, yeah, somewhere along the lines of those two albums. Uh, okay, so Paranormal doesn't disappoint fans. Like I've been saying for this past eight minutes it sounds familiar it sounds like alice cooper it is alice cooper but it's calm it's it's i don't know i guess maybe remind you of the eyes of alice cooper maybe dirty diamonds somewhere along those lines it's where he's come back and gone i'm calm let's release this album of course it does have features from larry mullen jr um uh someone who works with u2 a guitarist from u2 I'm not very good at this, I'm sorry. Uh, Billy Gibbons from ZZ Top and Roger Glover from Deep Purple. Yes, of course, the original Alice Cooper band does make an appearance. Uh, musically, of course, because you can possibly hear it. Um, they have done live performances, but I've yet to see those, I'm sorry. Um, but no, the original Alice Cooper band worked on the song Genuine American Girl and You and Your Friends you and all your friends, um, which are studio recordings, but they also have live versions of the songs No More Mr. Nice Guy, Under My Wheels, Billion Dollar Babies, Free Feed My Frankenstein, Only Women Bleed, and School's Out. So the uh, original Alice Cooper band did work on this album. Um, obviously when you get a hard copy, you can figure out which uh, parts they worked with uh, more. I'm losing my touch. <gasps> okay, so back to the point. Um, now I tried to follow Alice Cooper's interviews and video releases that he's uh, posted on social media about paranormal, but because I didn't really have the time to listen to all the videos, I just did a quick search prior to this video. Um, he has admitted that this particular album doesn't have a theme. Now with Alice Cooper, every album has a theme. Or at least most of his albums have a theme anyway. This album, him and Bob Ezron just went in the studio and went for it. They just went, yeah, we're just going to see what this songs feel like and 
see what the album feels like and just throw it all together, which does sound good, but it hasn't always worked. I mean, you have listened to some of the non-particular themed albums and gone, oh god, Ellis, why? Oh. But no, this one works, so it's pretty good. Um, so, like I said, this album won't disappoint Alice Cooper fans. But you won't exactly be loving it, maybe? It depends where you sit. Um, you know, you could love it, you could hate it. It's one of those albums that you sit on and go, okay, there's maybe three songs that I totally love. The other ones, meh, I need some persuading. So, you know, it's an Alice Cooper album, and he's still got it. And as long as Alice Cooper is physically, mentally, emotionally, willing to throw himself into his character he is alice and this is his album and it's definitely one for the fans so i recommend that all alice cooper fans listen to paranormal will you be disappointed will you love it possibly will you hate it depends where you sit um i know i've said that before haven't i <laughs> okay so I think I've done that long enough, and I think I should go now because I'm going to ramble if I don't. Ah! Nobody likes when I ramble. Hmm. Okay, so if you have listened to Paranormal, what did you think of it? Were you on the fence? Or were there songs that you were like, I love this album, I can't wait for more? I know Alice Cooper is currently touring, um, and he's promoting the crap out of this album while he tours. Um, I've heard that he is. He has performed Paranormal. Um, I'm not sure if he's performed the other songs, or maybe he will once this album officially drops, because different parts of the country, or different parts of the world, different time zones, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, so that's going to be interesting. I know he's coming to Australia in October, and I'm disappointed. I know, I shouldn't say that. I had tickets, and then I had to refund them. So, yes, I'm disappointed. <laughs> Next story. So I'll leave you guys with that, and Alice, as an Alice Cooper fan, I am excited, and I'm glad that he's back with new music. Okay, I'm gonna go now. See you guys, hope you enjoy Alice Cooper's Paranormal. Bye.